The digital hybrid, it takes a Socratic seminar and the Socratic method, and it basically kind of divides it in half, where the uh, first circle is about maybe 40 to 50 percent of your class, and those are students that are going to be doing more of a traditional model Socratic method, where they're going to be asking each other questions, they're going to be responding using textual evidence, they're going to be using some collaboration skills and inviting students to kind of come in, which is a new push for the Common Core Standards, learning how to collaborate and work together in an organic way that's, um, that causes student achievement. The outer circle is basically the remaining 50% of your class, and this is where the technology comes into play. Um, they're going to be answering and engaging and collaborating on the same groups of questions that the inner circle is doing in the more traditional manner. Um, but they're going to be doing with blogging software, and they're going to be blogging with each other often anonymously, answering questions, soliciting feedback, um, using textual evidence. And this is um, basically two, two consecutive Socratic seminars going on at the same time. What's really cool about this is that teachers can focus in on the inside circle um, while they're doing assessment in real time and monitor what's happening on the outside circle. However, they can go back and assess vis-a-vis -vis the, the document that's created from blogging at a later time. So they don't have to worry about 36 students in real time assessing. They can worry about about half of that, which really takes a lot of the load off the teachers in real time, but still gets the student product that, that you were wanting. Basically, what happened is this morning is the students came in, they sat down, um, they got out their scaffold sheet, which when they read the articles and they, and they watched the TED Talks, there's a side where the kids, students can um, put their opinion, and then the other side of the document is where they actually attach the textual evidence. And that's one of the main goals of this activity is to make sure that students not only have a coherent opinion, um, you know, that is provocative and has something to say, but that they can also back it up with statistics and real life evidence because that will help them for being a 21st century learner in college or whatever career they pick. Does texting negatively affect a teenager's ability to write well? You, you know, yes or no, use your evidence. Someone start in the middle, go. Science has shown that texting is actually beneficial for you, but if you're on your phone too much, it strains your eye muscles. But you can also become very dependent, like you can't spell properly anymore because our phones can do that for us and certain things we just can't do anymore. Text. When you're texting someone, it actually re re relieves stress, so like if you're having a bad day, texting a friend like lifts your, can lift your negative mood. In the TED Talk that we watched a couple weeks ago, it was saying how people use LOL now, not even, they're not even laughing at most things. They just say <laughs> LOL unnecessarily. I think texting helps less social, like socially awkward people. Like they might be scared to like, are nervous to talk to people in real life or maybe even shy. But texting, since you're not face to face, it makes things easier. While this is also happening in the back, Students are blogging with each other using the same questions in real time and using the same strategies and the same sentence structures. So the students have aliases and with this program, and so what they'll do is they'll, they'll pose a question and they'll comment off each other using academic language. They'll use the same statistics. They will be able to invite students in that maybe have lain dormant for five minutes digitally, but they'll know that. And they're basically doing the exact same rigorous, higher level uh, depth of knowledge work that the Insight Circle is doing traditionally, but in a digital format.